Hi, this is Tracy H. Dan. I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. Today's reading will be for Monday, May 15th. We're going to use the Power of Surrender cards, okay? And these are cards by Judith Orloff, MD, okay? And she's the best-selling author of the book, The Power of Surrender. And this is the first time I'm going to be using these cards, I believe. I, I don't recall using them before, but this is a beautiful deck. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And we have surrender to low self-esteem. We have surrender unhealthy relationships. And the bottom card is surrender to your intuition. Okay, so... The Surrender to Low Self-Esteem. Beautiful, beautiful flower here. Looks like a black-eyed Susan. I have those growing outside here at my home. And the card is saying, you deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. That's right. So many of us have been through so much. And, and it does take a its toll on our self-confidence and our self-esteem. But we're all in this together. No matter what happens in life, it's always for our highest good, and it does eventually make us a stronger person. So some of you out there might be talking, you know, negatively to yourself, that, that mind chatter that goes on, you know, during the day and, and, and thinking negatively and, you know, just not having the confidence and self-esteem that you truly deserve. So this is telling you what I get from spirit is a lot of you out there, you know, just don't seem to have the confidence that you should. And, and be proud of yourselves. I mean, if you're watching these videos, you want to help yourself. You want to improve things. And that right there is perfect. That is a positive step in your life. Most people don't even try to work on their problems. They just allow things to, you know, fall apart in their life and, and do nothing to improve. But you have what it takes, okay? You have what it takes to improve whatever is in your life. Believe in yourself. And then we have Surrender Unhealthy Relationships. And this card here is saying, let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. And yes, these bad relationships that we've all experienced, myself included, it does, you know, make you feel like you have no self-confidence, that you lack the self-esteem that you should. Don't allow these toxic people or people that are not available to you to, to even have your time, even have your, your presence. Um, so many people stay in relationships because they're scared to be alone. But if you're stuck in a relationship that's toxic, it's never going to bring you the positive energy and the confidence that you're going to need. It's just going to keep destroying your self-confidence and your self-esteem. When we're rejected by people like this or we don't get you know, the, the care and respect that we deserve, it, it affects us. It really does. And then you start thinking that maybe you don't deserve any better. So think of who you may need to remove from your life, who is toxic. And these don't necessarily have to be just romantic relationships. These could be friendships, too. I refuse to associate with anybody negative, okay? And we all have our bad days, okay? So we're not all positive and, you know, happy 24-7. But the people that are just constantly bringing on the drama and the negativity, no, they're politely shown the door. I don't have time for that. You know, maybe that was fine back in high school when you were younger and didn't know any better. But you know what? I'm an adult now. And I choose who I want in my life because the people that you surround yourself with have an effect on you, whether you want to believe it or not. So think of who needs to be removed. And then the last card, trust your intuition. What a beautiful card with the eye. And it's saying, tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any good feelings, flashings, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. So yeah, you need to trust your gut feelings, okay? Maybe about this person, okay? Maybe they're giving you a line, you know, saying that they care about you and they want to be with you and this and that, but their actions are different, okay? Trust the feelings that you get deep down inside what is your gut feeling about this person okay get some quiet time meditate 
Okay, our intuition and gut feelings are an internal warning system that we have that we should take all full advantage of because it could save us from a lot of heartache. And what I get from this card is, is, you know, maybe you're struggling with, should I stay or should I go? And this is telling you here, you know, that be aware of your feelings, okay, and aha moments that come through to guide you. Maybe by getting quiet and trusting your gut feeling, you're finally going to have the strength to know who could stay and who needs to go. But it's in those quiet moments, okay, that we can really trust our intuition and we can really hear, you know, how we're being guided. So get some quiet time. And if you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.